this is um, this is what passes for a for a through fare in a slum. And the thing about this is that no light gets in. This was actually shocking to me. On a bright, sunny day, if you walk into one of these homes, it is dark. There is no light. There is no air. There is no toilet, as you saw earlier. And so people um, have to go out, defecate in public toilets if they're available and conveniently located, or outside. Um, people are exposed to all sorts of horrible things. So the thing with a disease like TB, and we'll talk about TB in, in, a, in, in a couple of minutes, the thing with a disease like TB is if I have TB, and at the end of this you come and shake my hand and I cough, congratulations, I just gave you TB. Okay. So when a family member has TB, the exposure rate is remarkably high. When women who do the cooking, they breathe the smoke, there's just a remarkably high incidence of, of respiratory disease from the smoke they inhale. And that's not, there is pneumonia, all, all sorts of diseases get passed because there is no ventilation, there is no light. We think that if we were to construct a new kind of material, lightweight, robust, get, that can actually be pieced together to make a home. That could be a remarkable change. And it's not just about the structure. People cannot live in those kinds of conditions. It's really important to have a new kind of a home for the urban poor in particular that has, um, uh, that has things like ventilation. The point is that to have that dignity of, of going to the bathroom in private, of not having to breathe the, the just horrible smoke that comes out of the cook stoves, of not having to be exposed to a disease just because your family member is exposed to a disease. The only way you get there is with a new kind of a home. This material doesn't exist yet. It has to be built. Um, now, we are experimenting with some of them. It's not clear these particular things will work, but um, uh, our guess is that this will, it'll still take a good 10, 15 years for a, really, uh, for a solid material to, to become available. And even if it does, you're competing against free. Solving the technology problem won't solve it uh, altogether. So uh, one of the themes we'll keep coming back to is that technology is often, uh, often not needed. Sometimes it's necessary, but it is never sufficient.